Uh, Max Carson, noted pedophile, who I've been telling everyone for years is a pedophile, wrote an article on Substack called People Shouldn't Go to Jail for Looking at Child Pornography. He opens by saying, I enjoy masturbating to Cardi B music videos, cartoons about incest, and stories about men being sexually abused by their mothers on the website malesurvivor.org. Uh, he then goes on to pontificate that people who uh, watch child pornography should not be penalized for it. There's a specific phrase... Uh, here it's already kind of a big favor to ask pedophiles to live their life in miserable celibacy so uh that's the only point i'm going to address because it's kind of gross i mean the entire article is gross but like that one in particular it, what it implies what he thinks it implies is really really creepy um nobody is forcing pedophiles to be celibate they can have sex they just can't have sex with children which is um a choice that they make so I don't I don't see how anyone's forcing them to do anything you just can't get what you want when it involves traumatizing people uh, so this article was maybe one bridge too far because there have been very negative reactions to it uh, Poe's law or dying scribe on Twitter says I can't believe this man I thought this man was doing a bit three years ago when I spoke to him on a podcast so now all the people who took the, the defense of this fucker being some kind of comedic genius because he made a song saying that he's a pedophile and then he made a follow-up song saying, I kill pedophiles. Wow. He's so funny. He really is pushing the boundaries of comedy. He's just using the offensive gimmick to its absolute potential, i.e. Dick Masterson and Vito, who's also a pedophile. Vito and this guy, by the way, are like best friends. They've known each other for years. They knew each other for years before Carson put out the videos about how he was a pedophile and wrote this, and they remain friends to this day. So if you have any suspicions that Vito is not a pedophile, uh, here is your guilt by association ticket to, to fill in the blanks. I don't know what the fuck Dick is doing, though. Like, I don't, maybe he... Uh, I don't know. I don't really feel that strongly about it, because he... His... He has enough plausible deniability, I guess. But there's a lot of smoke around this this potential Schrodinger's fire. I'm I, I, I'm just wondering, like, are they actually happy with their life choices when they decided I'm gonna go all in with like being friends with this fucking retard and this open pedophile? Are they like now in 2023? Like, he did it again. Another stroke of comedic genius. He really has caught the attention of the world at large through his offensive hot takes. Uh, by utilizing free speech to his absolute maximum potential, he has once again reinvigorated discussion around him. If only we could be so clever and thoughtful. Like, is that what they're thinking? Or is it like, oh, I stuck my dick into this pile of shit and now my dick smells like shit. Is that, is that, is that, or is that, no, that's too much self-awareness. I think that they're probably like, yeah, that's, they're going to like cope and see that this is funny. Shu June also tweeted this same thing happened with this guy. Many thought he was a troll until, and this is a picture of Amos Yi, who was jailed for grooming a 14 year old and possessing child pornography. If you don't remember, Amos Yi, um, made a similar argument that all child pornography, including, actually, I think he argued pedophilia should be legal, like including down to like toddler ages and shit. Um, and everyone thought that he was just like a troll. Even Medicare was like, he might just be a troll, but it's really fucking weird. And then he got busted on child pornography charges. Um, now, I, I am extremely gratified to see that in the mainstream discourse, my my particular takes that I feel like I it's kind of hard I like I, I get a big head when I think about this because as far as I'm aware I, I never remembered seeing any people making these these um these observations before I did and now I see them a lot and it's like did me talking about this spread it into like public consciousness or did people just come to the same conclusion because as far as I'm concerned what I say is true so it is entirely possible that people independently come to this conclusion on their own. Um, it's also possible that people take what I say and spread it on their own. Because my point has always been that, A, people do not joke about being a pedophile. Uh, they get off on announcing to the world that they are a pedophile, knowing that people can't do anything about it. You know, they can brush it off as a joke to avoid consequences. I remember making those points before it was popular to do so. Um, and I don't remember ever, I came to those conclusions because of experiences dealing with fucking weirdos on the internet. Now I feel gratified seeing that these points are reiterated. So I don't know if it's, um, just people 
realizing the same thing over time or if I have in some small way contributed to people no longer tolerating this kind of bullshit. Who knows? Who knows?